Hey guys, welcome back to. Oh. Whoop. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Mr. Mill here. And today we got a new book. Uh, this one's called Henry Scissors by Jeanette Winter. Now, this book is based off a famous artist. You guys know who he is. His name is Henry Matisse. And uh, it's a really cool book I found at the library here at my local library here in Westmont. And I figured I'd read it to you guys. So let's see what it's all about and then maybe we'll do something about it. Henry Scissors. Oh. Let us find the first page. Here we go. In a small weaving town in France, a young boy named Henry Emile Bonnois Matisse watched his mother paint China. He wanted to paint too. He drew pictures in the sand and he drew pictures in his school books. When Henry was a young man, he drew pictures in his law books and on contracts, deeds, and wills. Henry was sick in bed with appendicitis one winter. His mother gave him a box of paints and he painted until he was well. Sorry. His mother gave him a box of paints and he painted until he was well. That's better. <laughs> Messed up there for real quick. Here we go. He kept on painting, forgot about law, and left his small town to be an artist in Paris. Henry painted pictures day after day and year after year. He was happy, and his paintings made people happy. But when Matisse was old, sorry, but when Matisse was an old man, he fell ill. So ill he couldn't paint. So ill he couldn't sit up. So ill, he could only lie in bed and sleep. His paintings floated by in his dreams. Matisse finally opened his eyes, and they were filled with sadness. Now he must remain in bed or use a wheelchair. Would he ever have the energy to paint again? When Matisse was strong enough to travel, he went to the seaside. The sea air might help him get well. Before long, he sat up. A little later, he drew. Then one day, Matisse picked up a pair of scissors and cut out shapes from painted paper. He was drawing with scissors. A pair of scissors is a wonderful instrument. Matisse cut paper all day. My pleasure in cutting things out grows even greater. Why didn't I think of it earlier? His assistants painted paper for him all day. It seems to me that I am in a second life. Paper cutouts covered his walls. One evening, Matisse lay in bed and drew the faces of his grandchildren on the ceiling with a piece of chalk tied to a long pole. As he fell asleep, they looked down on him and saw his dreams. They saw the shapes that surrounded him in sleep. As time went on, Matisse cut bigger and bigger shapes. They filled his seaside room with color. You see, as I am obliged to remain often in bed, I have made a little garden all around me where I can walk. There are leaves, fruits, and a bird. I am deeply content. I am deeply contented. Happy. Then one night, Matisse walked out into his paper garden and the rainbow of shapes cradled the old artist and carried him into the heavens. Are some of the stars we see at night coming to us from Henry's scissors? Perhaps. That was a cute story about Henry Matisse. Anyways, uh, it's true. He did. He was bedridden and he could only uh, do art with scissors. And um, hopefully I can show you guys some art, some of his artworks. You know, here, 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 maybe. And um, hopefully he'll inspire us to do our next project. So 
Let's get going. You're gonna need a couple supplies. You're gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need a glue stick, pencil, and some construction paper. So anyways, let's get going. Matisse was a handicapped uh, artist and uh, basically he outsourced his own ideas to other people that would help him. Uh, but for us, uh, we are capable of doing some stuff on our own. And what I want to do is at least knock out at least four out of the seven ideas or six, sorry, six ideas I have when it comes to using um, construction paper. So if you don't have construction paper, you can always use printer paper and just color it and then cut it out. Still the same thing works just as fine. But um, for this activity, we're going to try to go as abstract as we can and uh, try to knock off our checklist of what we got. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pick um, a couple colors and we'll start from there. So first color I want to pick is your base color. So basically everything that you're going to glue everything on. So I'm just going to pick a random color. I'm not going to look. Ugh, what color is this? Okay, green. Sweet. Okay, so that's going to be the color that I'm going to glue everything on. So I'm going to choose a second color. Not looking. Green. Can't be green. All right, how about... Uh, this one? Pink? Okay. Pink's good. Another color. Another color, another color. Alright, purple. Great. Um, let's try one more. What color is this? It's purple again. Can't use that color. Purple again. Alright. Light blue it is. All right, so you don't need as many color uh, colored sheets of paper as you would think, but um, I'm gonna stick with this many. So green is my base, and I'm gonna hold it horizontally, and then my checklist includes a swirl, a zigzag, wavy, straight, round, spiking, pointy. So your goal today is to imitate Matisse and try to create something that's abstract, but utilizing different shapes, sizes, and everything that I said on that list. So, um, let's start off. So this is gonna be as abstract as possible. If it pops out a little bit, then great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out um, a straight rectangle first. So if you guys wanna follow along, you can. I'm just gonna cut something this big. And then I'm gonna cut out something just that same size, probably like this. And then we'll go from there. So the first one I wanna go over is zigzag. Zigzag seems kinda easy. I'm just gonna keep folding it in different directions like this, back and forth, back and forth. You guys can see that. I'll try to zoom in later when I'm editing, but there we go. So now all I gotta do now is glue one side just like this stick it on a random spot on my paper and then i can glue the other side just like this i can either go like this over here over here i can even twist it a little bit i'm gonna go over and place it right there ta-da zigzag already looking kind of like a matisse type of art all right this is just a straight line i think it's gonna add character if i just Put it the way it is so i'm just gonna put that in a random spot maybe i'll put that right there boom i have two elements already so why don't we try a pink and i'm gonna do a circle first to the best of my ability if it turns out to be looking like an oval that's fine it doesn't have to be perfect all right i'm gonna try to do a swirl I'm not sure how that's gonna work but i'll try my best i'll start on one side try not to go too skinny because then it's easier to break I'm gonna go around and around and around to make this swirl or spiral. And then I'm gonna try to reach the end right about ugh, there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add glue to one end of the spiral. Maybe I'll put it right over here. And then I'll put the middle of the spiral. If I can just pick it up, and I can always put it somewhere else. Why don't I put it over? I can glue on this side, I guess. I'm gonna pick another random spot. I can probably even unwind it, probably. Let me just unwind it a little bit. And boom! It kind of created like a spiral on itself in its own area. So if I just pick up this paper, you can kind of see it's like kind of taking shape of its own type of idea. It looks like a roller coaster. So if you want to make a roller coaster, go ahead. So what I just did now is I did a zigzag, a swirl, a straight line. What haven't I done yet? Why don't I take this color right here 
and let's try to copy Matisse's type of shape. And he kind of has like this little, kind of looks like those plants from SpongeBob SquarePants. Coral. <laughs> and uh, this is exactly what it looks like in that book. Um, I don't have the book on me in the moment. I already returned it to the library. So we're just going to try to our best to try to mimic it. All right, this looks great already. All right, looks kind of like a splatter, kind of. Why don't I put this another random spot? Let's put that right here. Can you even be going off the page too? Ta-da! All right, let's do some more pink, probably. Um, let's see. I didn't do wavy lines quite yet. What can I do for wavy lines? Um, let's just try to do this again. Let's try to do another strip. Halfway this time. And then let's try to do this. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I can try. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we can try. Let's see if I can like zig uh, wave it with my fingers. Does that look like a wave to you guys? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. If it doesn't, oh well. Let's put it right here. Oh, what did I do? Hold on, let's face it this way instead. And then what if I kind of just glued it like part way? This might, might or might not work. I don't think it's working, guys. <laughs> there you go. Kind of working? Yeah, I guess I can keep going like that. What does that look like? Kind of like fighting each other or fighting itself. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's gonna work, guys. <laughs> right, let's do this last one. Let's just curl it in from each other. There we go. All right. That looks pretty cool, right? All right. So I did swirl, zigzag, wavy, straight. Um, I didn't really do round. I mean, I kind of did, but that doesn't count. <laughs> so I just do a couple. These random dots. Let's do maybe three. Three sounds like a good number. One, two, and three. All right, let's try that. We can put on stuff. Wow. One right there. Let's put another one right here. Put this tiny one right over here. All right, it's looking good so far. It's not coming off. All right, spiky or pointy. Um, let's see. What do I want to use? I really wish I picked another color, but I don't want to waste paper. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take. Hmm. Let's do the purple again. Let's do the purple. Let's do something with spikes. All right, that should be enough spikes. All right, I'm gonna glue it on. And ta-da! All right, I think I'm gonna call it quits because I'm liking it the way it is already. So I'm just gonna make sure I put my cap on my glue stick and I make sure I hear the click. And I'm gonna consider this done. So I hope you guys enjoy this lesson. It doesn't have to be specific looking. It's supposed to be abstract, guys. And uh, what I want you guys to do is just have fun with it. So we're trying to be like Matisse, uh, the famous abstract artist. And I think I did a pretty good job on achieving what I wanted to do. I tried to do as random as I could. And uh, I think it looks amazing. So anyways, um, there's not really any way you can like kind of package it any well, anyway. But like, you know, like fold it somewhere. But I like it. Check this out, guys. You can like see it from like different angles, and you see something different every single time. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. I'm sure I did, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.